Hi, Tony Sycamore here, Senior Market Analyst at IG Australia. US equity markets dived on Friday in a week that saw the pathway to Fed rate cuts become less certain, earnings reports from major banks disappoint, all topped off by a sharp rise in Middle Eastern geopolitical tensions. Arguably, the effect of the latter will continue to be reversed after an Iranian attack on Israel on Sunday appears sufficient in size to revenge the killing of Iranian military personnel in Syria without being damaging enough to trigger a further escalation at this point. This will leave traders to focus on quarter one 2024 earnings, as well as retail sales data for March and comments from a number of Fed speakers. After last week's third consecutive month of firm CPI data, the rates market has repriced the probability of US interest rates remaining higher for longer. Let's take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see what impact that has on key US stock markets. Now, what we have seen for the S&P over the past fortnight is two weeks or two consecutive weeks of decline. In fact, that has been the largest two-week fall since October 2023. I suspect that this is part of a correction. At this point of time, it does appear quite orderly, but we do need to see the S&P 500 continue to hold above the lows of March, which is coming in around this 50-50 to 50-40 area. And if that was to occur and you get this rebound, taking it above the highs from late March, then you probably can look towards 5,400. Aware that if those March lows don't hold, it likely confirms that we've got at least a short, possibly a medium-term higher place here, and that a pullback towards 4,800 is underway. In the NASDAQ, there has been a considerable flattening out of the uptrend over the past eight weeks. At this point of time, it's too early to, for us to be able to say whether it is uh, a flattening out before a significant pullback or just a correction with an uptrend. But what we do know is that there is some very important levels for us to lean upon. And of course, they are these levels we've been speaking about in recent weeks coming in around 17,750 to 17,700. While the NASDAQ holds above here, then it's possible that you get a test and break above the 18,464 high from the 21st of March before a push up towards 19,000. If conversely, we see a sustained break below this support region here, I think that would confirm a short term, possibly a medium term top is in place, and that we're seeing a deeper pullback initially towards 17,000. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead. 